What is going on, guys? Welcome to Nerfies and Nerfies with Brad. We got a beautiful slate of MLB games going down this Saturday. And I'm ready to cash in, man. I'm ready to cash in. I got three Nerfy slash Nerfies today that I'm giving out. If you guys, uh, before this video, man, click that subscribe button, drop a like. It helps us out a lot. Uh, and if you guys want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I bang myself personally, go to pitdolls.com. Click the premium pick section or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. As you see, we started at 3-0 on our Yerfies slash Nerfies. Thank God, man. We needed a hot start. Um, I'm currently recording this Friday, 4 p.m. Mountain Time. So our next slate of games are about to get started. And hopefully we can keep the winning streak going. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about our Saturday slate. And um, it's pretty good, man. It's absolutely loaded. And, and let's get right into it. For this first matchup, I'm looking at uh, the Brewers versus the Mets. On the mound for the Brewers, we got D.L. Hall. And on, on the mound for the Mets, we got Mr. Luis Severino, who is coming off a rough season. And it scares me to say this, but I'm going to take the nerfy in this one. D.L. Hall, I have faith in him. You know, he had a 3.26 ERA uh, last season. Not, not a bad pitcher. Not going to blow you away either. Luis Severino, terrible season. Um, he had an awful season. So... Does this scare me a little bit on the, the Brewers side of things with them getting a run? A little bit. He had a 6.5 uh, ERA. Pretty damn bad. Um, but I think this is a new look for him. I think he's going to want to come into, um, well, he's been in New York for, I mean, I don't know how many years. He's staying in New York, but with his new team, I think he comes out and um, he's ready to prove a point. You know, the game today, I had the Brewers on Friday, and the game ended up 3-1. Brewers won. I was pretty pumped on that, but... Really, the nerfy angle for me on this one is the lineups, especially on the Mets side of things. I don't trust them to, to score a run early. I don't trust this team to score runs consistently all throughout the season. This team strikes out a lot. They hit a lot of ground balls. Um, it was tough for them to get anything going today. So I'm not worried about the Mets scoring a, a run. And then when it comes to the Brewers, kind of the same thing. I think the Brewers are going to be an under team as well this season. Um, it took them a while to score a run. I think they scored their first run in the fifth inning. So just the way the game looked today, I think we could see another low-scoring one. Don't get me wrong, though. Luis Severino scares the crap out of me. But we're still going to go with it. We're going with the nerfy in this one. Next matchup. Um, look at this matchup between the Dodgers versus the Cardinals. And we're taking the Yerfy. We're going to take the Yerfy. We got Lance Lynn on the mound for the Cardinals. Just, just played for the Dodgers last year. And we got Yamamoto. Sounds like a, a dirt bike company. On the mound for the Dodgers. This man, Yamamoto, his first start at... Um, it was in Korea against San Diego. His ERA is currently 45. If you go on ESPN, ESPN right now and look at Yamamoto's ERA, it's 45, guys. Um, he looked terrible. He looked absolutely awful against the Padres lineup who, I mean, we talked about it in the last video. The Padres lineup is very inconsistent, and they were able to hit off this guy like it was nothing. Um, I forgot how – let me see how many runs they scored. I remember them scoring a ridiculous amount of runs in that game. Um, what is it? 15. The Padres allowed or scored 15 runs in the game. I know it wasn't all Yamamoto, but 15 runs in that game when he started. Um, I can see this one being another high scoring game. And when it comes to Lance Lynn, um, you know, I think the Dodgers should be able to hit off him. Lance Lynn's best years are behind him. When he's playing well, he's a serviceable pitcher, but his best years are behind him. And I mean, Mookie Betts, Otani. Um, I mean, the, 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 the lineup's just disgusting on the Dodgers side of things. Let's just look at it. Let's just look at it. Um, that's all good. You guys know the Dodgers lineup. It's maybe the best goddamn lineup uh, I've ever seen in my whole life. So, yeah, I think uh, I think the Dodgers score one here, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Cardinals score one here early as well. So give me the your feet in the Dodgers versus Cardinals matchup. Last but not least, um, going to this Guardians versus Athletics uh, matchup, I took the Nerfy on Thursday for this matchup, and we're doing it again. For Saturday, I like this matchup, um, this pitching matchup. We got Tanner Beebe on the mound for the Athletics, or no, for the Guardians, and then JP Sears on the mound for the Guardians. And I, I'm high on JP Sears. You know, the Athletics are a train wreck. They are an awful team. But one thing that I think they have for their future is JP Sears. I think he's going to be a very serviceable pitcher, and I think he's going to have a great career in this league. Um, he's, I think, yeah, I think he's their best pitcher personally. So uh, he's. Good strikeout guy, I think. And when it comes to the Guardians, I said it that, that Thursday video, all you had to worry about is Jose Ramirez. All you had to worry about is Jose Ramirez, man. Other than that, this team can't hit consistently. And we know damn well the A's can't hit consistently as well. So that's going to do it, man. Let's recap this uh, Yerfy Nerfy vid. Uh, Brewers versus Mets. Give me the Nerfy. 
Dodgers versus Cardinals, give me the Yerfy. Guardians versus Athletics, give me the Nerfy. I like that, man. I think we go 3-0 there. If we could go 3-0 on Friday and 3-0 on Saturday, start on 9-0, that would be pretty damn sweet. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to follow my handicapping career more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at BradwoodsBets. I post all my wins and losses there. I post my PitDolls content, other free pick. It all funnels back into there, so go check that out. Uh, but most importantly, subscribe to PitDolls on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys with some money. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow.